The Tale of the Six Spot Burnett Moth. The sign of a busy motorway services near Glasgow is not where you'd expect to find a wildlife haven, but in this urban meadow you can find a healthy population of six spot burnet moths. The adult six spot burnet's life cycle may be brief at only a month or so, but it is quite an extraordinary tale, with toxic gifts during sex and ghostly skins left behind when they reach adulthood. Six spot burnet moths are striking in their coloration and patterning, which makes them easily recognisable. A shiny black, almost metallic, long, thin wings and characteristic six red spots help them stand out from the soft browns and yellows of the meadow. This kind of patterning is often referred to as warning coloration, as six spot burnet moths produce the toxic chemical hydrogen cyanide. This gives the moths a bad taste and, in large quantities, will kill predators, helping to protect the moths throughout their lives. Hydrogen cyanide also plays an important role in the moth's sexual reproduction. Females will release plumes of the chemical combined with sexual pheromones to attract males. During reproduction, male moths will present females with a nuptial gift, a type of nutritional gift sometimes given by the male to induce the female to mate with him. In this case, he presents her with hydrogen cyanide. The female can then use this toxic gift to provide her offspring with more hydrogen cyanide so that they will be better protected against predators when they emerge. These ghostly white tents with alien-like creatures emerging from them are actually the cocoons and abandoned exuviae of young six-spot burnet moths. The moths emerge from this exoskeleton after pupating and fly away to feed and find a mate, leaving this shiny black case behind. The adult moths are day-flying and feed on the nectar of knapweed, thistle and other grassland and meadow flowers. This moth is looking a bit bedraggled and may have already mated. The female moths will lay their eggs on the caterpillar's food plant, bird's foot trefoil, before dying around June or July. It's quite amazing to be able to find these moths in such an urban landscape, so keep an eye out for these astonishing, flamboyant little moths around your local patch.